Good afternoon. Viva Panama. We are celebrating this month, Panama Independence Day. So it's really important for us, the Panamanian people, to celebrate our heritage. Okay, this is Instituto Laboral Nueva Luz. This is uh, Savi Vega. I am your English teacher. This is class number six. And today our topic is technology. Uh, today's objective is students will be able to talk about technological devices and parts. So we will start uh, watching a video. I will share with you this interesting video about technology. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jack. Welcome to Everyday English. Today we're talking about technology. Of course, technology is a pretty broad subject, isn't it? It is. When we talk about technology, we mean any tools or machines that make lives easier. It might be a mobile phone or a washing machine or a toaster or cloud computing. But technology is a noun and it's uncountable, which means that you don't use the definite article, the. So, for example, you say technology makes lives easier, not the technology makes lives easier. You only use the if you're talking about a specific type of technology. For example, the technology used in mobile phones. Let's have a look at some words that are often used to describe technology in a positive way. To start with, there's advancement or advancements. To advance means to move forward. So technological advancements are improvements in technology. For example, advancements in satellite technology have led to the development of self-driving cars. A sudden and dramatic advancement in technology is sometimes described as a breakthrough. For example, there's been a breakthrough in artificial intelligence. State of the art is a term used to describe technology that's the best of its kind. As in, my phone has state of the art camera technology. Cutting edge is similar, but it means the latest or most up-to-date technology. High tech is a more general term, and it means something is technologically advanced. And innovative means it's advanced and original. How big is that new phone? Yep, brand new, state of the art. Has it got any high-tech camera? Yeah, the software they use is really advanced. You can take portraits that look just like they're from a much bigger camera. I say to them, the technology they use in phones these days is amazing. I really need to get a new phone that's more up to date. But of course, the impact of technology isn't always positive. You'll often hear people talk about the negative impacts of technological advancements. Take something as simple as a car. That's a type of technology that's made life easier. Yeah, that's positive. But on the negative side, cars cause air pollution. Yeah, and if you drive too much instead of walking, then you might not get as much exercise. So that's a negative too. Here's another one, mobile phones. So mobile phones help us to communicate with each other and access information. But studies have shown that too much screen time can be harmful, especially to children. Now, screen time is the amount of time that you spend looking at a phone, a computer, or a tablet. Social media is another type of technology that has a lot of positives and negatives. It helps you keep in touch with your friends and promote causes, but it can also help to spread fake news and encourage bullying. You might need to write an essay talking about the positive and negative aspects of technology. So it's worth thinking about how you might structure it. There are three main parts to an essay. The introduction, which introduces the topic and outlines how you are going to answer the essay question. Then there's the body. This is where you make your points and support them with evidence or examples. So if I'm comparing the positive and negative aspects of technology, I might spend a few paragraphs outlining how machines and tools have made life easier, giving examples. The final paragraph in the essay is the conclusion. It shouldn't introduce any new topics. Instead, it should be a summary of everything that you've mentioned so far. 
take a moment to observe all the gadgets around you and how technology has changed your life. What do you think the future of technology will look like? Perhaps we'll be interacting with robots. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. Now, remember to analyse the question and brainstorm the main points that you want to cover in your essay before you start writing. Good luck and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Okay, so in advance, they mentioned something about the task that we will, you will have to do by the end. I will recap what they say. Let's start with learning some new vocabulary words or reviewing them if you already know them. Tech gadget, namely. A gadget is a technological device. So the word in English is gadget. Gadget. Okay, tech gadget. We have alarm clock. Some people use alarm clock to oh, get up in the morning, wake up, right? Antenna, calculator, computer, digital camera, DVD player, earbuds, ebook, floppy disk, game console, hard drive, headphones, laptop, memory card, memory stick microphone, mouse, MP3 player, PDA phone, phone camera, and printer. I have a very nice microphone. My microphone is very modern. I can use Bluetooth. My microphone has Bluetooth on it and it has a speaker. I can play camera okay with it. My microphone is gold. I like my microphone. I have another gadget, my headphones. I have very cute headphones. They are pink. I use them in my classes. My headphones have a microphone. I use the microphone to talk and I use the headphones to listen. I can hear very well with them. Hello, Uciel, Ryan, Isabella. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Uciel, Ryan. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ryan. Marisela, are you here? Teacher. Yes, Isabel. El que dice Isabela es Dashlin, que se me fue la luz. Dashlin. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dashlin. Thank you. We are missing Carlos, Leonel and Maricela. Those are the ones who were absent. So I was talking about my microphone. Do you like my microphone? It's very nice. I use it for karaoke. It has a Bluetooth, it has a speaker, and it is gold. Then I was talking about my headphones. I have pink headphones. My headphones have a microphone to, for me to talk. I use the headphones to listen. I have a mouse. Look at my mouse. Very nice. My mouse is red, red. and black. I have a mouse pad. My mouse pad is gold. My mouse pad is made of metal. I use the mouse pad for my mouse in my laptop. You can see, but I have a laptop. I have another gadget, my smartphone. 
my smartphone or mobile phone, there are two ways to say, my smartphone has a very nice camera. I have a professional one. The software of my smartphone is very nice too. So I have a memory stick. This is a memory stick. Do you have a memory stick? Ryan, do you have a memory stick? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, Ryan, do you have a smartphone? Yes, teacher. Ryan, do you have a microphone? No, teacher. <laughs> Okay, do you have headphones? Yes, 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 sir. I have headphones, Bluetooth. Oh, I'm, oh, that's pretty nice. They are wireless. Yes, wireless. Yes. I have a head, okay, wireless headphones. Very nice, cool, cool. Uciel, do you have a mouse? Dashlin, do you have a mouse? Yes, teacher. Oh, very nice. Do you have a smartphone? No, Do teacher. You... Okay. Do you have a microphone? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Do you have a memory stick? Yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Excellent, excellent. So we were learning new vocabulary words about gadgets, gadgets and electronic devices. I have a printer. I'm going to show you my printer. Can you see my printer? I have a printer. Ryan, do you have a printer? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, I do. That's the way to answer. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, uh, I Dashlin, do. do you have a printer? Yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. 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 So here we have the list of gadgets. Alarm clock, antenna, calculator, computer, digital camera, DVD player, airbot. Do you have AirBuds? I don't have AirBuds. Ryan, do you have AirBuds? Yes, I do. Oh, very nice. Dashlin, do you have AirBuds? I don't have AirBuds. I think I, I need to buy a new phone. My phone is kind of old. Yes, I do. Oh, excellent. Uh, what about game console? Ryan, Uciel, do you have a game console? Yes, I do, teacher. Oh, very nice. What do you have, the PlayStation or the Xbox? A PlayStation 3. Oh, a PlayStation. Uciel, do you have a game console? Uciel, I think Uciel has problem with the microphone. Isabel, do you have a game console? I don't have a game console. That's that. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on into the presentation. Okay, here I have a video about electronic devices. Listen to the pronunciation. This is English. First steps in learning English. Electronic devices. Calculator. This is a calculator. This is a calculator. What is this? What is this? This is a calculator. This is a calculator. Tablet. This is a Tablet. This is a tablet. What is this? 
What is this? This is a tablet. This is a tablet. Webcam. This is a webcam. This is a webcam. What is this? What is this? This is a webcam. This is a webcam. Headphones. These are headphones. These are headphones. What are these? What are these? These are headphones. These are headphones. Laptop. This is a laptop. This is a laptop. What is this? What is this? This is a laptop. This is a laptop. Computer. This is a computer. This is a computer. What is this? What is this? I will interrupt a little bit to Miguel is coming. What is this? This is a computer. This is a computer. Printer. This is a printer. This is a printer. What is this? What is this? This is a printer. This is a printer. Memory stick. This is a memory stick. This is a memory stick. What is this? What is this? This is a memory stick. This is a memory stick. Microphone. This is a microphone. This is a microphone. What is this? What is this? This is a microphone. This is a microphone. Digital camera. This is a digital camera. This is a digital camera. What is this? What is this? This is a digital camera. This is a digital camera. Mobile phone. This is a mobile phone. This is a mobile phone. What is this? What is this? This is a mobile phone. This is a mobile phone. Camcorder. This is a camcorder. This is a camcorder. What is this? 
What is this? This is a camcorder. This is a camcorder. Television. This is a television. This is a television. What is this? What is this? This is a television. This is a television. Okay, let's practice identifying technological gadgets. Okay, this is technical things game quiz. Okay, you have to recognize, I try to identify the gadget or the technological device. If you know the answer, remember to turn on your microphone and say it. Number one. What do you use to make phone calls? Television, tablet, or mobile phone? Mobile phone. Excellent. Fantastic. I will use my bell. Correct answer. Number two, what do you use to watch movies? Radio, a printer, or a television? Televisions. Perfect, very good. Next question, number three. What do you use to take pictures? Camera, a keyboard, or speaker? Camera. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Bonus round. Give me a number from one to five. Ashley, give me a number. One. Oh, you have to, to answer very quickly. This is three times the speed. La respuesta... Right away. Question number four. Which machine do you use to work at home? Radio, computer, or printer? Computer. Very good. Thank you. The computer. Correct answer. Question number five. Get ready. What do you use to play games? Mobile phone, television, or a speaker? Oh, this is a tricky question. What do you use to play games? Mobile phone. Most mobile phones include games, right? Or you can download it from the App Store. Right. 
question number six. Get ready. What do you use to listen to music? Calculator, MP3 player, or printer? MP3 player. Yes, it's an old-fashioned MP3 player. <laughs> Very yeah. good. Excellent. In the past, we used MP3 players. Now we use the smartphone, Spotify, some apps on the smartphone. Bonus round. Okay, Ryan, give me a number from one to five. Two. Okay, number two. Let's see what you got. Ooh, 100 points. Wow, that's a good bonus. Okay. Question number seven. Get ready. What do you use to download music? The radio, the MP3 player, or the laptop? To download music. What do you use to download laptop. music? The laptop. Download means descargar. Descargar música. Yes, you use the laptop to download music. Upload, subir. Download, bajar. Upload, subir un trabajo. Download, bajar un trabajo. O descargar. Good job. Question number eight. Get ready. What do you use to set alarms? The headphones, the webcam, or the mobile phone? To the mobile alarm. phone. Excellent. The mobile phone. We have that option. I think mobile phones are very usable gadgets. It's a very usable gadget. We use it for everything. To set alarms, to download music, to watch movies. What do you use to transmit videos in real time? Digital camera, visual headset, or the webcam? Webcam and uh, digital camera. Uh, more, more use uh, webcam. Webcams. Yes, if you are YouTuber or streamer, you use webcams. Excellent. But high quality. High quality. <laughs> webcams. Okay, bonus. Wow. From one to five. Anyone can give me a number? From one to five, give me a number, please. Four. Four. Oh, oh my God, you have to be quickly in the answer. This is three times the speed. Question number 10, get ready. What do you use to write and send messages? Printer, mobile phone, or calculator? Mobile, mobile phone. phone. Mobile. Mobile phone. Excellent. Oof. Excellent, personally. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Okay, excellent. Let's continue with the presentation of today's class. We have practice identifying technological gadgets. So I have a riddle for you. Can you guess who am I? I am a great gadget. I am very important in your life. I have a screen and a rectangular board with a lot of keys to press on them. One of my parts has a name of an animal. Can you guess who am I? Which technological gadget I am describing? Can you guess? Adivinen, adivinen. Who am I? I am a great gadget. I am very important in your life. I have a screen. 
a rectangular board with a lot of keys to press them. One of my parts has a name of an animal. Can you guess who am I? Mouse. Okay. A mouse is a part. Is one part. El mouse es una de sus partes. Mm. So what is the gadget? Computer. Computer. Excellent. The computer. Now we are going to learn some basic parts of a computer. We have the printer, the monitor, the CPU, the speaker, we have the keyboard, the mouse, and we have another type of a speaker. Okay, we have the speakers too. The speakers, so pueden considerar las bocinas y también vemos que en el micrófono tiene un speaker, the microphone. El keyboard es el... What is the keyboard in Spanish? Teclado. El teclado, yes. Monitor, también se puede llamar screen en las laptops. Screen, la pantalla. Okay, monitor, en las que son desktop. There are two types of uh, computers. Desktop computer and laptop. Desktop es la que ponemos en el escritorio. Desk, viene del escritorio. Desktop. Y laptop, Es porque eh, la gente la usaba en las piernas, laptop, ya, yeah. poner sobre, arriba, sobre las piernas, desktop sobre el escritorio, desktop and laptop, that's the, the difference. Okay, so, what is a monitor? A monitor is a noun, it's a screen used to display output from a computer. What is a mouse? The mouse, the word mouse is a noun, it's a pointing device that controls the cursor on the screen, computer screen, okay? And the keyboard, what is a keyboard? It's another noun. It's a set of keys. Keys means teclas, okay? A set of keys that operate a computer. So we have here three definitions. Monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Monitor, mouse, and keyboard are part of the computer. The parts of the computers are Printer, speakers, monitor, CPU, keyboard, and mouse. Okay, the CPU is the main proce uh, processor. Okay, it contains like the brain of the computer. In the monitor, we see in the screen all the software that runs a computer. Okay, now look at these gadgets. We call them mobile phone in British English, and we call them smartphones in American English smartphones or mobile phones we have different type different kinds or different brands of a smartphone they contain different software and different gadgets we have here i see this is an lg a sony we have htc a samsung and of course the iphone they have different software android software or ios software the software are the programs inside. Okay, let's learn some vocabulary words related to the mobile phones. We have, oh no, I'm 1%. Se me acabó la batería, run off battery. I am, on, I am on 1%. I've got full battery. Tengo la batería completa. I've got full battery. I haven't got much battery. Se me está agotando la batería. I haven't got much battery. On silent. On silent mode. Es, es silen modo silencioso. On silent. Tengo mi teléfono. On silent. A screen protector. Yes, that's very important. A screen protector. Protector de pantalla. A phone case. Esto es un case. A phone case. It's better to have a phone case and a screen protector because uh, you can avoid to have a crack screen. This case is very difficult to take out. 
My phone is on charge. Mi teléfono se está cargando. My phone is on charge. Oh, okay, this is my phone. <laughs> this is my mobile phone. And I use a case, a phone case to protect. But my screen is cracked. Yes, then after my screen cracked, then I bought the screen protector. So unfortunate. Okay. Bluetooth to connect via Bluetooth. Bluetooth to connect to the Wi-Fi. Sí, la palabra correcta es Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Uh, a power bank, eso es una batería portátil, a power bank, we have a charger, and earphones. Ahora todo el mundo tiene earbuds. More modern, right? Cuando tenemos la señal completa, full signal. Cuando no tenemos señal, no signal. Cuando la señal está bien, ok signal. Pero cuando la señal está débil, weak signal. So here we have some phrases. Sentences and words related to mobile phones. Okay. In here, in your English model on page 23, you have the this latest technology. Estamos hablando de el parcial número 2. El tema es latest technology. Vamos a ver cuál es la última tecnología para el siglo 21. Watch this video. It's really interesting. Technology is ever evolving. Regardless of the current market conditions, new technologies are emerging with groundbreaking innovations to tackle world issues. It must be strange that predictions are being made about the future of technology in these uncertain times. But here's the fun part. These innovations are what makes life easier in the coming years. From systems that could predict the risk of a viral transmission to drones that could deliver essentials to your door, their industry is transforming our lives. So here's a list of new technologies of 2021 that you should watch out for. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to never miss an update. At number six, we have aerospace technologies. The aerospace sector has countless innovations that continue to increase over the coming years. Defense and other aerospace industries are looking forward to building zero fuel aircraft. New aerospace technologies include advanced space propulsion systems, advances in material sciences, smart automation, and blockchain. With the help of 3D printing, many aerospace components are being developed. Given the global situation, although innovation in this field may come at a calculated pace, it is likely consistent. At number five, we have 5G networks. With an increase in video conferencing, remote working, and digital collaboration this year, reliable connectivity and better bandwidth are crucial. 5G deployment is preventing companies from going out of business. As we continue to manage school and work from home, 5G will play a key role in 2021. Companies like Samsung, Apple, and Xiaomi are readily rolling out 5G phones. Qualcomm, arguably the leader in 5G technology, is helping make 5G affordable to as many smartphone users as possible next year. Reports say that the global 5G services market is estimated to reach 41.48 billion by 2020 and expanded an annual growth of 43.9% from 2021 to 2027. At number four, there's edge computing. Almost all technology in today's world are applications of edge computing. Collaborations with artificial intelligence, 5G and mobile cloud edge will make data processing closer to the customers, leading to faster and more efficient computing. Even amidst the pandemic, companies continue to consolidate and expand their offering of edge solutions. From traditional rugged embedded computers to high performance edges for AI and other data intensive applications. According to experts, the edge analytics market is expected to grow up to $8 billion USD by 2021 at a CAGR of 32.6% from 2016 to 2021. At number three, we have extended reality. Extended reality includes augmented and virtual reality. This technology, in conjunction with others, will be used during the next year to tackle challenges posed by the current situation. It will largely help in avoiding dangerous situations that could potentially cause a viral transmission. Over the coming years, this technology will revolutionize healthcare, education, and lifestyle, among others. The AR and VR market revenue is expected to reach 55 billion USD by 2021. At number two, there's human augmentation. 
With the principles of exceeding, replicating, and supplementing human ability, human augmentation changes what it means to be human. The augmentation pipeline holds other great promises for the future, like bionic human joints, embedded scanning, customizable contact lens, augmented skull, feet, artificial windpipes for your throat, etc. The possibilities are endless. The global human augmentation market is predicted to rise at a considerable rate during the forecast period between 2020 and 2026. But most of the innovations today are being facilitated by one vital technology. Can you take a guess as to which one is made to the top of the list? That's correct. At number one, we have artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has proven to be one of today's most transformative tech evolutions. However, with the current world scenario, artificial intelligence seems more promising than ever. The volume of data collected on healthcare and infection rates can be used to prevent infection spread in the coming days. Machine learning algorithms will be increasingly sophisticated in the solutions they uncover. In the coming year, AI will make predictions on demand from hospitals and other healthcare providers. According to experts, global spending on cognitive and AI systems will reach $57.6 billion in 2021, and the AI market will grow to a $190 billion industry by 2025. With that being said, if you wish to create something cool and help make a difference, check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM. It covers topics like machine learning, deep learning, statistics, and NLP, among others. In conclusion, with such big advancements in technology, the future looks more promising than ever. It is likely to reshape all sectors of life. There's simply no stopping it. Have you heard about new innovations that have been recently implemented? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for being here and watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Techno Okay, let's talk about partial number two. Talk about partial number two. Okay. Here we have the latest technology. This is on page 23 of your English module. Aquí tenemos el parcial número dos. Okay. Aunque en el módulo dice speech, que es un discurso, lo vamos a adaptar a un pequeño párrafo escrito con un poster. Ok, I will share with you trabajos a uh, Claro Line. And you will see what I'm talking about. Latest technology. Estará disponible desde hoy, 6 de noviembre, hasta el 13 de noviembre. Instruction. Select an electronic device from the list. En la página 23, el módulo te ofrece una lista de uh, gadgets, o sea, uh, devices, uh, tec um, aparatos electrónicos o tecnológicos que puedes utilizar. Pero si no te gusta ninguno de estos y te llama la atención alguno del video, puedes escoger alguno de los presentados en el video. ¿Qué tienes que hacer? Research. Tienes que investigar, hacer un poste y incluir unos párrafos donde das la descripción general del de el aparato electrónico y cuáles son las ventajas o desventajas que este tiene. ¿Ok? ¿Qué cosas buenas trae esta tecnología? ¿Qué cosas malas puede presentar? Aquí tenemos en, en la página 23 el tema. Eh, tenemos Android, que es para los teléfonos, tablets, una tableta, un iPad, laptops, Blackberry, digital camera, MP4, L LED, LCD televisions. Ya les dije, aquí hay una lista, ustedes pueden escoger de aquí cualquiera de los presentados, o si te gustó uno que se presentó hoy en la clase, en el, en el vocabulario, o oh, no, yo quiero hablar de eso que presentaron en el video, me gustó más. Ok, haga de eso. Recuerden, es un trabajo, un reporte escrito, un párrafo donde usted presenta lo que es la descripción del aparato electrónico de su selección, e ilustrar y hacer un póster, Puedes poner las ventajas y desventajas que tiene este, o sea, lo que te parezca más interesante para hacer. Entonces, esto sería la nota del trabajo parcial número 2 para 
onceavo grado. 